Live gives you the information for the day from the Media Center. Today is Tuesday, October 26, 2021. I'm Nelly Sanchez. Now let's all stand and join Micah Fossey for the Pledge of Allegiance. Micah? Good morning, Pioneers. Please stand for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. You may be seated. Now back to our anchor. Well done, Micah. Now let's join Fernando Rodriguez, who is in the WPKN Weather Studio, for a check on the weather. Fernando? Good morning, Pioneers. Today's weather will be... Mostly sunny with a 3% chance of rain. The wind will be blowing out of the northwest at 12 miles per hour. The high today will be 83 degrees with a low of 53 degrees. Have a great day now. Back to Anchor. Thank you, Fernando, for that informational weather update. For lunch today, our incredible Romeo chefs are preparing for us a choice of tangerine chicken with a chef's salad or a wild butter sandwich with roasted broccoli and fresh fruit. Don't forget your choice of milk. Now here's Ms. Parker and Ms. Williams with today's Pioneer Minutes. Good morning, Ms. Parker and Ms. Williams. Good morning. Good morning, Mrs. Williams. Good morning, Ms. Parker. Good, Good morning, morning, everyone. everyone. I saw some amazing looking people dressing up and dressing down today. Great participation out there, Pioneers. You look fabulous. Ms. Williams, you look fabulous too. What do you know? Thank you. Well, I know that we have some bus superstars. Got Ooh, stars, God, nice. superstars that have stayed on the board for the last two days. 30, 37, 30, 26, 30, 35, 30, 31, 30, 24, and 3005. It has not arrived yet. So we're going to take a leap of faith that they are going to do exactly what they were supposed to do. Because they did yesterday. Yes, they did. Now, boys and girls, there's a bus or two that is coming down regularly. Do you know what they're lacking? They're lacking you. They're lacking you stepping up and being a leader, setting the example. Did you know you do not even have to say a word to teach someone else how they should be behaving? How can you do that? Model it. Sit with your bottom on your chair, your feet in front, and your hands in lap. Remember, talk to only the people in your seat and here's most important, if your bus driver asks you to do something, the correct answer is yes, sir, or yes, ma'am. And you do it immediately. So boys and girls on the buses that we didn't celebrate today, step up and be a leader. You can do it. That is excellent advice, Mrs. Williams, not only for the bus, but for in class as well. Absolutely. So that is great advice. Let's remember that we want to make sure we follow that advice, even though we are having a good time this week with our Red Ribbon and our United Way celebrations. Speaking of celebrations, I have I Ready celebrations today. I'm ready to celebrate some classes for their I Ready reading. These are classes that met their minutes and the time requirement for iReady. So your pass rate, that's the same thing, your pass rate and the number of minutes um, you met your goal, which is 45 minutes at 75% or more. Congratulations to Miss Ramey's class, Miss McLean's first grade and Miss Minotti's first grade. In second grade, Miss Lazo Brady's class, Miss Lloyd's class, and Miss Peterson's class. In third grade, Miss Holland's homeroom, Miss Curiel, Miss Alexander, and I think Miss Darnell. I'm not sure. I can see you definitely. Oh, no, you definitely made your pass rate. A little bit more on your minutes, guys. But Holland, Curiel, and Alexander, A plus on your already reading. Fourth grade, Miss Chambers is the only homeroom in fourth grade. Come on, fourth grade, step it up. Let's see if you can catch up with Miss Chambers' class. In fifth grade, Miss Viverito, Miss Howell, and Miss Heidevick's homeroom. Great job, guys. And in math, I ready. Congratulations to Ms. McLean, Ms. Noller, and Mrs. Minotti. Congratulations to Ms. Kidney Abelman's homeroom, Ms. Lazo Brady, Ms. Lloyd, and Ms. Peterson's homeroom. Lots of second grade celebrations yes. there. In third grade math, we have Ms. Holland, Ms. Curiel, Ms. Alexander, and Ms. Tripp's homerooms. And in fourth grade, uh, Mr. Stewart, Ms. Gutierrez, Mrs. Ramey, that's more than fourth grade. She has a mixture of students. Congratulations. And in fifth grade, Ms. Johnson, Ms. Jones, Ms. Viverito, Barano, Howell, and Heidevick, the whole fifth grade made wow. their I-Ready math goals. 
Great job, guys. I am super proud of you. Tomorrow we celebrate Refec Reflex. I have quite a few certificates. Teachers, if you have any more for me, please put them in my mailbox. What else do you know, Ms. Williams? I know it's a day to get better. Boys and girls, work hard and be considerate of others. Remember when you're considerate, you're thinking about other people's, their, their feelings, and you're um, showing careful thoughts. Woo! Get it out, Miss Williams. So, boys and girls, do your part today. Learn, work hard, and treat others with respect. Speaking of getting better, we have collaboration in math today. Teachers, please bring a Chromebook, bring a Chromebook, bring a Chromebook. And also today, we have tutoring starting for those students who signed up for tutoring in grades 2, 3, 4, and 5. Hopefully, you know who you are. Your teachers should sure do know who you are. You will go to the cafeteria for a snack today, and then your tutoring teachers will come pick you up. Without further delay, our words of wisdom. Do you ever think you are too young to be helpful in the big wide world? Do you know that there are children who collect coins for charities and gather up canned goods for food pantries and put on talent shows to raise money for other worthy causes? There is an American proverb that goes like this. <coughs> you always help yourself when you help others. Just because you're a young person doesn't mean you can't do something important in the world. Remember, something that helps people who are hungry or sick or homeless is helpful. You are never too young to make a difference in the lives of others. And remember... When you help others, you help yourself become the very best person you can be. With something to think about on this terrific Tuesday, let's make it a great day, Romeo. The choice is yours. Thank you, Ms. Parker and Ms. Williams. Well, that's all for today, Pioneers. Thanks for watching WPKN this morning. Be sure to join us again tomorrow for the news that kids can count on to start their day. I'm Nayeli Sanchez. Until next time, see you later. Bye for now.